probably a 90% chance that we'll be out of business uh, on, when this is done. A mom and pop Boise bakery says what could shut them down is Albertsons. Welcome to the news at six on this Tuesday night. We begin with Albertsons suing a small family owned bakery located in the same plaza off of Overland and Orchard. According to court documents we obtained, the hometown grocer says Granny C's Bakery is competing against them, something that they say the lease agreement they signed prevents them from doing that. Our Gretchen Parsons is here with details. Gretchen. Mark, the owner of Granny C's tells me he has a hard time believing his small bakery is actually cutting into Albertson's profits. He also thinks that the property owner who he signed a lease with should have known that this was going to be an issue. They just want us out, so that may be where, where we go. Owner of Granny C's Bakery, Brad DeBoer, opened up shop just three months ago. Fresh baked baked goods. Uh, we had planned on doing a little bit of bread and, but, and specialty cakes. It is a family business. We have no employee. As of right now, we have no employees. And uh, it's just completely managed, completely ran by the family. But the small family bakery may be shutting down just as quickly as they opened. Granny C's is being sued by Albertsons, which for a long time has occupied the same Hillcrest Plaza on Overland. They say that we're using a space in this development that is not allowed to be uh, used as a bakery. According to the lawsuit, the lease specifically states the space isn't allowed to be used as a bakery, deli, or a place that sells alcohol for off-site consumption, as it would compete with the grocery chain. If this hurt them, uh, they were in trouble. But those terms only apply to a business that's at least 5,000 square feet. In their complaint, it says it has to be over 5,000 square feet. Uh, and we're only 1,650 square feet. But DeBoer says he won't be fighting the lawsuit. The one lawyer that I've talked to said it was a twenty-five dollars to $50,000 lawsuit that we would have to fight and at least a $5,000 retainer fee. The property owner and manager who DeBoer signed a lease with, FPA Shops at Hillcrest, is also being sued. I would have thought they would have told us, hey, uh, that's not a use that's uh, allowed in that space. The lawsuit also names Tailgate Growlers, which is right around the corner. We reached out to Albertson's attorneys, but didn't get a response. Please, something can be worked out um, with the property manager and Albertson's because I believe they're the ones that are playing. I mean, we're just a pawn. We also reached out to Tailgate Growlers, also known as Copenross Growlers, to see what they plan to do, but they were closed and we haven't heard back.